Ah, school. Love it or hate it, we all have experienced this chapter at some point in our lives. Whether we dropped out, got our high school diploma, or strive for that college degree, we know that schools maintain a set of rules in order to maintain functionality. But is there such a thing as going too far? Here are 10 of the strictest schools from around the world. Since we're talking about school, why not do a quiz? Don't worry, no studying is required and you can look at your neighbor's answers. Stay tuned for the question and we'll reveal the answer at the end of the video. Need some extra credit? Subscribe to our channel by hitting that red button and we guarantee that you'll get some bonus points with your video streaming experience. Duncanville High School in Texas, the administration staff at Duncanville High School started enforcing a super strict dress code that resulted in 160 students getting suspended. It came at a terrible time because it was during a critical review period before finals. What could be so bad about a dress code? The students had to wear their name tags at all times, and if they didn't, they were sent home. Belts were also required along with wearing a certain color shirt. The male students were also not allowed to have stubble on their faces. One student was sent home even though he was wearing an official school spirit shirt. Why? The shirt didn't have a collar. So it seems that the school isn't even aware of their own dress code and how it aligns with school spirit. At first, the students protested by fighting, running down the halls, saying the dress code, and flipping trash cans. The police were called to calm down the riot. Luckily, no arrests were made, but it's a guarantee that school officials weren't happy. Then the students tried a more passive approach, like creating a change.org petition, as well as a sit-in. Duncanville High School tries to defend their actions, saying that the dress code existed all year. Oral Roberts University Located in Tulsa, Oklahoma, Oral Roberts University is an interdenominational Christian university with about 4,000 students. While that is considerably smaller than larger non-Christian universities, Oral Roberts still wants to enforce rules to keep their students in line. The students are required to attend church twice a week, along with following a strict dress code that doesn't allow tattoos and body piercings. The students can't even hold a raffle because of its association with gambling. If you expect to come to school in your pajamas or workout clothes, think again. Students are expected to display good taste and modesty in clothing choices, as well as avoid lying or do anything that could cause Christ grief. Premarital relations are prohibited, especially if they're of the homosexual nature, along with the prohibition of dancing. Sounds a little like the plot to Footloose, doesn't it? If you think that you can try to misbehave off campus, think again. You're still expected to follow the rules even if you're not on campus. If you take the risk, be careful of who you associate with because your friends can report you to campus administration. Smoking is also prohibited. And you can't even get a job that may be morally questionable because it will reflect badly on the school. Haven Middle School what happens when a school becomes so strict in their dress code that even the parents start protesting? Well, you get a media storm of bad publicity. We live in a world where parents side with their kids more often than usual, but this strict rule has people all over the world shaking their heads. Haven Middle School decided to ban leggings and yoga pants for female students, citing that the form of dress would be too distracting for the male students. Leggings have exploded in popularity the past few years, with companies like LuLaRoe becoming multi-million dollar empires. Leggings are so comfortable and they go with almost any outfit. Chances are that the parents of these girls probably sported leggings themselves and interpreted the ban as a personal attack on their home life and parenting styles. With this in mind, the ban was perceived as a form of shaming, and a group of girls weren't going to take the new rule sitting down. The girls and their parents saw the strict rule as a form of punishing the girls for what the boys might do, instead of holding the boys responsible for their actions. Arguments made by school officials were oddly familiar to arguments made by defense attorneys in assault cases, which made the situation even worse. Asbury College Located in Wilmore, Kentucky, Asbury College is a Christian college that is a smidge more liberal than Oral Roberts University because they do allow dancing. However, you can only dance at weddings, military balls, graduations, family, and church occasions. And you can only pick moves from a pre-approved list. Unsurprisingly, you're not allowed to smoke, possess pornography, or do any drugs. However, you also can't drink alcohol at all. 
You can't even drink the non-alcoholic version of beer or cocktails because it is believed that it opens up one to a life of lewd behavior and addiction. You also can support or practice the occult, but the school doesn't exactly specify what beliefs are aligned with the occult. As usual with Christian schools, attending chapel is mandatory, and if you can't support other Christian functions, you'll be frowned upon. Dressing immodestly is prohibited, but the student manual doesn't do much to specify exactly what is immodest dress. So apparently, you have to figure it out or learn through trial and error if you weren't raised on the practice. Cap Rock Academy Cap Rock Academy found itself in the center of a public relations nightmare when it wouldn't budge on a strict rule of no shaved heads. Let's first keep in mind that the student in question is only nine years old, thus reducing the possibility that she joined a white supremacist group. Second, Cameron Renfro shaved her head in solidarity with her 11-year-old friend Delaney Clements, who was suffering from stage four of a cancer called neuroblastoma. For anyone who has been affected by cancer, losing your hair is one of the most defining moments in the battle. For an 11-year-old girl, she was probably feeling very self-conscious, making Renfro's gesture emotionally moving and powerful. When Renfro's mom emailed Caprock Academy to give them a heads up about her new look, they emailed her back saying that Renfro wouldn't be allowed back at school until her hair grew back. It didn't take long before the story hit social media and a mass public outcry took place. This outcry led to an emergency meeting by school board members. A vote of three to one in favor of Renfro's return took place, meaning that there was still one person on the board who wanted to stick to the ridiculously strict rule. Are you feeling heated by these school rules? Cool off with a quiz. Which middle school is so strict that 16% of their student population is in detention every day? Stay tuned for the answer at the end of the video. Carver Collegiate Academy When you first start attending Carver Collegiate Academy, you're given a 51-page handbook on how to behave in class. Teachers issue demerits based on anything from students leaning on a wall to putting their heads on their desk. Students are also expected to talk in a certain way. They have to thank their teacher for the opportunity to answer a question. If a student phrases a statement or a question incorrectly, then the teacher corrects the student, who then must repeat themselves with the amended terminology. If you fall asleep in class, you're then given 10 demerits, which warrants a detention. If you skip detention, then you're suspended. In between classes, students have to walk in a single file line as determined by a piece of tape on the ground. In the handbook, it states that students have to follow the speaker that held the floor even having to whip their chairs around in order to keep their focus. If a student is caught with their eyes closed outside of blinking, that is an instant two demerits. With rules such as these, it's not shocking that the dress code is just as strict right down to the shoes. Want to wear Chuck Taylors to class? That ain't gonna happen. Ozark Christian College before we dive headfirst into Ozark Christian College, keep in mind that this college is located in Joplin, Missouri, which is known to be very religious and conservative. This means that the rules that we're about to go over aren't necessarily major shockers. Of course, illegal actions aren't permitted, but you're not allowed to purchase alcohol or smoke cigarettes, even if you are of legal age. Also, want free reign on entertainment? OCC won't allow you to watch anything that the faculty and staff thinks is offensive. So even though you're an adult going to college, you've inherited multiple sets of parents. You pretty much can't watch any movie that has anything higher than a PG rating unless, of course, it's Passion of the Christ. As a student at OCC, you're not allowed to go to restaurants, bars, clubs, and casinos if there is alcohol present. If men and women want to hang out together, they have to request the presence of a chaperone. If you're in a relationship, you can't do more than hand-holding. Finally, you're not allowed to participate in anything that is considered a fad. You can't dye your hair, and you can't have any piercings beyond the ears and a nose stud. Achievement First Crown Heights Middle School Achievement First Crown Heights Middle School is so strict that 16% of their student population is in detention every day. Former honor student Gianna Boone has served detention for humming, slouching, and even not looking at her teacher in the eye. It's not uncommon for students to be in detention every day throughout the school year at Crown Heights. Students have even been sent to detention for talking too loudly in the bathroom or using a pen during math class. 
Located in New York City, Achievement First Crown Heights Middle School works on a system of demerits, which are given out for offenses as simple as not facing forward while walking or putting their head on their desk. After three demerits, a student has to spend 45 minutes in detention. But if a student complains about the demerit by sucking their teeth or rolling their eyes, then they get an immediate 45 minute detention. So much for three strikes. Some students got detention for dropping their pencils or failing to address their teacher as ma'am. Obviously, the parents grew concerned over the rules and their child's learning experience and have held meetings with administrators on a regular basis to try to get them to back off. Johnson University, Florida. Formerly known as Florida Christian College, Johnson University, Florida manages to cross the line in controlling the student's academic and personal life. There are actual levels of different offenses. For example, level one includes playing video games that have an M rating, violent or graphic entertainment including television, movies, and music, violent or graphic posters, questionable content on their computer, and they will have their social media profiles combed through on a regular basis. Want to dance? There are no school-sponsored dances, and no, you can't dance off-campus either. Then we have the level two offenses, smoking a cigarette, possessing and or using alcohol, and gambling. Oh heavens! Also, do you want a job in a restaurant that serves alcohol? Not allowed. Want to work in a grocery store that sells cigarettes? Think again. It seems the school either has little faith in the self-control of their students, or they want to enforce their own control to make sure things run in an orderly fashion. Casesar University. In the academic world, cheating is never acceptable. If it's discovered that you cheated on a paper or an exam, you're likely to face expulsion. In Bangkok, the administration at Kasesar University had their students wear blinders on their heads in order to prevent cheating. These are oddly similar to the blinders that horses wear when they're working in public or in a busy city. Perhaps they took inspiration from another school in Thailand called the Civil Aviation Center, who forces students to wear boxes on their heads. There seems to be a trend with anti-cheating methods in Thailand, but it hasn't been well received. When the Kasesart University Facebook page shared a photo of the students wearing their blinders, people protested to the point where the photo was eventually removed. But the rebuttal of the blinder controversy is that it was the students' idea to wear the blinders, and the university didn't force their students to do anything. The suggestion was made because the classroom was so small that it would be hard to prevent cheating otherwise. Which middle school is so strict that 16% of their student population is in detention every day? That would be Achievement First Crown Heights Middle School. Did you get it right? You have earned a gold star. Yay! If you enjoyed this video, then check out these other awesome videos on our channel. Also, before you forget, click on the subscribe button and get regular updates to our channel and every time we upload a new video. Class dismissed. Bye-bye.